Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the seventh video of my series How to Make an RTM Tool in C. Uh, I haven't made a video in quite a while, like about a month, because I've been thinking about where I want to go with this channel, but for now I'm just going to keep things going how they, uh, how they were. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set memory with CCAPP, uh, which I realize I haven't shown and should have shown quite a, a long time ago, but yeah. And not only am I going to show you, am I going to show you how to set memory with CCAPP, but also I'll show you how to make these functions here way more efficient and crunch them down to two lines of code um, and just make this uh, this whole program better essentially and also make these functions work uh, both with CCAPP and TMAP at the same time depending on what you have selected. So let's just start out by um, changing out this whole god mode function to make it a lot better. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this right below and we can start um, changing things up. First thing, um, I don't like the name of this this bool. I think it should just be called GM. Um, and then up top, <clears throat> the first thing you do when you click the God Mode button is you change the state of this bool to whatever is the opposite of it. So if God Mode is on, then it turns off. If God Mode is off, then it turns on. So to illustrate that through code, you write gm equals not gm, or the opposite of gm. So again, if god mode was true, so if this boolean was true, when you clicked the button, it turns false, because the false is the opposite of true. If gm was false, when you click the button, then it becomes true, because true is the opposite of false. So basically, whenever you click this button, this bool becomes the opposite of what it currently is. And that's the most efficient way of doing it instead of doing this whole, you know, garbage. Um, next, I'm going to be using a bunch of ternary operators in this video, so if you don't know anything about ternary operators, I strongly suggest to go learn about them. Um, I'll just put up on the screen how they're spelled because you probably won't be able to spell it based on how I'm saying it. So ternary operators, definitely watch videos about them. I guess I'll try to explain them as I go along, but essentially a ternary operator is like having an if-else statement, except a lot more efficient and, take, and it just takes up a lot less space. So what we're going to do in our ternary operator is check the API that we have, or the API that's selected. So we're going to do underscore API equals equals API colon colon tmappy, and this is saying if our API is tmappy, then do what? Um, since it's a ternary operator, we have to put a question mark, and this will begin our first part of the, the operator. Um, so if it's tmappy, then we have to set the memory with tmappy, which we already have the code right here. So we can go ahead and copy and paste this right here. Um, get rid of the semicolon. And then for the second part of the write byte function to write the memory, we have this byte right here. This is the on byte, and 0x00 like zero zero is the off byte. We can actually use a ternary operator right here to determine which byte to use instead of having to rewrite this code twice. Because this is not efficient, having this here and here, where the only difference is just this byte. We could use the ternary operator to determine what we want to be here. So we could erase 0xff, we're going to write gm question mark, so if gm is true, this is like saying this, gm equals equals true, but that's redundant, you don't need that, so we'll just write gm question mark, the first part, if gm is true, if god mode is on, then we do 0xff, and then to do the second part of the ternary operator, we put a colon, which is the else statement, we put 0xff, so if god mode is true, then we put the on byte, 0xff, and this should be 0x00. So if it's true, then you do the on byte, 0xff, else you do the off byte, which is 0x00. Now I can close this off, that looks good. That's the first part of our uh, ternary operator, because this is our ternary. So basically we have ternary exception here. We have a ternary operator within one, but this is our main one. If the API is tmappy, then we set the memory with tmappy, or else, we put a colon right here. I'll go down the next line to make it cleaner. Or else we have to set the memory 
with ccapi. So we're gonna do a ccapi dot, and this is how you set the memory with ccapi. You do write memory, and if you wanna do one byte, um, there are two different functions in ccapi, the library. Uh, they, they both are under the same name, write memory, except they're overloaded. If you wanna do one byte, or one form of data, no array, then you actually use the overloaded one, which has a template, and you put whatever kind of data you want inside here. So if you want to do a byte, then you use char, or you could use byte, which we have defined. I'll just write char. Um, and so in the parentheses, it's going to look exactly the same as this. So you just can copy and paste that. There we go, because the function is the same otherwise. The first parameter of the ccapi write memory is the address. Second parameter is the byte. Okay, and that's how you set memory to one byte or one form of data with t with uh, ccapi. If you want this to be an int, then you do put an int here, but we're just writing one byte, so it's char. Um, also, one last touch to this, the ccapi write memory function returns an int, which I think is there to let you know um, if everything went okay. So if it, if it went okay, then I don't know, it returns one or something, um, or maybe zero. And if it's not okay, it returns something else. Um, so it's an int. But the problem is the tmappy function is a void, and this is an int. And if we want to have a ternary operator, these have to be the same one. Uh, they, they have to be the same type. So well, all we have to do is actually just cast this to a void. Um, and this is a C style cast, probably not the preferred way. I think it would be better to use like a static cast. I guess I could do that, but I don't really feel like using a static cast. So just cast it to a void because we don't really even need that return type anyway. It'll work fine without it. So this should work fine. And you can get rid of all of this stuff. You don't need that. So as you can see, we have three lines where this is actually two lines, but I put, it, put this line down to the next one to make it cleaner. So in total, this is really two lines versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two versus ten. Also, this has a whole entire other library part of it, the ccapi. So this is a lot, even more code, but in less code. Um, next thing I want to do is actually, I don't like that all these uh, variables, these bool variables, are in global scope. Um, first off, I'll just delete this. So we're going to put these bool variables inside um, our class. So underneath these private slots, we'll make a designated um, field, a private field, for our bool variables. We'll have bool gm, we have bool ufo, and I don't know why I'm putting this on separate lines, this could be all in the same line. ufo, and we also have sj for super jump. Um, underneath here we'll also have a function that initializes all of these to false. So we'll have void init bools and I'll put the function definition straight in here um, I'll say gm equals false ufo equals false sj equals false and I misspelled that and straight away we can go ahead and go into our source file go all the way to the top to our constructor this is our constructor the very first thing here and after it's set up on the next line we're going to write init bools in our constructor okay there we go so it says all those to false and we can actually delete all the other bools so that looks nicer um, and now we're going to basically copy this style to our other functions. So let's do the same for UFO. Um, we're going to do UFO equals the opposite of UFO. And we're going to do, honestly, we could, we could just copy and paste all this. Copy and pasting is not good, but for time's sake, I'm just going to be copy and pasting everything. So we have this whole turnier operator. The only difference for us is the address and the bytes. So we could take the address from here. Put it in here and here. For the bytes, we have 0x02 to turn them on, and 0x00 to turn them off. So that's the same. 
and we can get rid of all of this and that should be good now for the super jump this gets interesting because we have more than one byte we have three bytes to turn on super jump so what do we do with this um, it's pretty similar in the beginning so we could actually copy and paste all of this again change this to sj equals the opposite of sj and then we need our two arrays for our on bytes and our off bytes so for our on bytes we're going to do byte on and it's going to have three bytes in it equals these three bytes that we already had before and then byte off with three also it's going to be this and now this is what we could do um, for tmap here we're going to have to use a different function it's going to be tmappy dot I think it's write memory or set memory is it yeah set memory yeah well we already have all this below I, I can just copy and paste that tmappy.setMemory okay and get rid of the semicolon and inside here the, we're going to use um, more ternary operators so in the second parameter we're passing an R array so based on the state of this bool we're going to do the on or off bytes so we're going to go sj question mark on colon off like that and for size of bytes, this actually doesn't matter. You can technically just have on because both of these arrays have the same amount of bytes. Um, they're the same size. But to just to be safe, you could also do a ternary operator here. You could do sj question mark on colon off like that. As for the ccapy uh, rate memory function, as I mentioned before, it's overloaded. So if we just get rid of this, this is the original one. And this uh, this function here is more like a set memory in tmappy. It has three parameters. The second parameter is actually the size of the bytes. So we could go ahead and copy all of this. And the third parameter is like the second parameter here. Um, so we could copy and paste this. Um, except the ccapy function uh, takes a reference of the arrays so we'll need to put the reference operator here and here just like that um, and I think that's good to go so we could just delete all of this cool and for our name changer function um, this is going to be get a little bit different because the ccapy library doesn't have its like write string function. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say char str and give it a length of 100 characters. I think that should be enough. And we're going to do str cpy, so string copy. For the destination, we'll do the str we just made. For the source, we will do this whole thing. This q principal line edit text okay so it takes whatever text is in the line edit and then saves it to this string um, and we could actually put str here instead to save space uh, we'll, we'll make another ternary operator here so we're gonna go like this uh, if the API is tmappy then set the memory with tmappy or else ccapy dot write memory for the address put in the same address as here for the second for the size we will we will do size of str and then for the third parameter we will pass in the str and since this is an array, we don't actually need the reference operator, and this will be just fine. And um, I think this is it. I think we're good. Oh, I need to get rid of this. And let's go ahead and run it to see if there's no errors. 
Oh, there should be an error right here because I forgot to cast it to avoid. That's right. Void. And there we go. It all works. So I don't really feel like demonstrating all this again because basically in every single video I show that all these mods work and I'm, I don't really feel like doing it, but you can take my word for, word for it, you can try it yourself, and these all should work. So that's it for this video, um, and I'll see you next time.